Well, we just made a quick run to the uh, old auto zone. Uh, the Grand Cherokee is still running like crap. Uh, also went to the Badlands, shredded an actual U-joint. Man, they wanted 35 freaking dollars for one U-joint. That is insane, in my opinion. I, I swear U-joints were like $8. So yeah, we're gonna get those changed today. I got a set of plugs for the Grand Cherokee. Hopefully I'll fix my random misfire. Running like crap. It's got a check engine light, but that's just because it's running rich and tripping the O2 sensors. So it's not really telling me anything. Uh, I never pulled the plugs on it, so we'll see what they look like. Oh, here's the situation. I seem to be missing some parts here. Um, and that stub shaft is definitely wallered out. And I just happened to mess up that bolt head enough to not be able to get a socket on there. Ugh. Man, I was hoping that wasn't messed up. We're gonna have to go pull the axle shaft off the parts unit. Really don't want to do that right now. Ugh. I don't know what the heck happened here. I was just turning the wheel manually um, and it started puking all over the place. You fucking started puking everywhere. At least it's nothing serious, I don't think. Got her all apart, can apart, nice and easy. I've done this a time or two or three on this unit. And stub shaft, trashed. You're not fixing that. It's all wallered out. I don't understand. It had grease in there still. Why'd it fail? But yeah. Um, this end looks good. It looks pretty straight. I think I'll put a measurement stick on there and see what she looks like. Now gotta make a decision on if I'm gonna pull in the parts unit, work on it in here or work on it in the field, in the snow and cold and wind. Um, I vote work on it in here. So I'm gonna find a battery and try to get her started. All right, a little sloppy back here. It actually turned out pretty nice today. Actually pretty nice day today. Here we go. There she is, old faithful. All right. Let's see how happy she is to be here. This is the starter wire. Come on, baby. There you are. Yeah! Woo! Uh-oh. Come on. This thing is literally ready to drive to California.
I got this one harvested out of here. Surprisingly, that one came out really easy. Um, unit bearing is still good, so we got good parts. Here's the shaft. Of course, the U-joint's done on that. Uh, we're gonna change it out. Um, gear back in the other Jeep. Had to cut this U-joint out because his ears were bent. That's bad. I'm gonna put this one, this stub shaft back in this unit bearing or else it'll fall off when you get it back together. All right, back together, let's get it out of here. These ears, the ears on the shaft here got bent in from getting that U-joint out. So I'm trying to spread them out just a hair so I can get the new one on. Yeah, we're in. Put some grease in there. Get her back in the Jeep. Get her back in there. All right, we got a red put back together. Now we can go ahead and take a look at Atlas over here. Pull the plugs, see what they look like. Throw some fresh ones in. Um, hmm. Yeah, that might cause it to run like crap. Look at the shinies. Roached. Look at it, it's bent. I've never seen one bent like that. What the heck? All right, we got the plugs in. Let's see how she sounds. Sound better? Doesn't sound better. I don't know. Good drive, right? It's a little peppier. Maybe it sounds better. I don't know. I'll go drive it around. We'll see. I don't know if I'll film anymore tonight. Uh, it's getting late. I'm getting hungry. Probably gonna go get some food. Um. That's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed it.